All right, so we're here. We're today we're working on a Chrysler 300 year 2006 with the 5.7 V8 Hemi engine. We're gonna do an oil change. So there's these spots right here. That's how you can jack up the car. All right, so once we have the car up on jack stands, got our safety glasses ready to go. Uh, it's really easy uh, to change the oil on these. It's a great do-it-yourself job if you want to save a little money and save a little time and avoid going to Jiffy Lube or wherever you go to change your oil. Um, anyways, we're just going to have to take four bolts off to get this cover off. And then it's just a matter of draining the oil and putting the uh, new oil filter in. Um, so we're going to take four bolts off of this. Well, cover it even says something like uh, oil cover or something like that. But anyway, there's a bolt. You can see, give you a little frame of where we're at right here, right here, back here, and back here. Um, and it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, so now that we have the uh, oil pan cover, uh, off um, it's time to go drain the oil so I'll show you where you do that you're gonna need a 13 millimeter bolt um, and this is the one that you drain it from here's the oil filter so first we'll drain the oil here so it's about to come out if you want to come look over here All right, now that uh, the oil has all been drained out of there, we can remove the oil filter. Um, and you should just be able to do that by hand. Um, once again, this is where the oil is drained from. Oil filter is right there. So we'll move our catch pan over a little bit. Already can hand loosen it. Some more oil will come out here. This is normal. You just open it a little bit, let it drain most of the way. Once it slows down, you can uh, do the rest. There goes the oil filter and the rest of the oil. Okay, so we just removed the oil filter. Time to put a new oil filter on. So first we got here, we got our uh, Fram oil filter that's for the 5.7 V8 Hemi. Uh, we have five weight 20 oil as is OEM. Um, so before you do anything, uh, you're gonna put a little bit in, especially around the edges. Fill that up, use your finger to move it around. So help it go on, lubricated. And then you can hand tighten it back on. So there's our spot. And so you can just hand tighten it, give it a nice squeeze. Um, I don't know, I'm a big guy. If you guys, if you guys need to use an oil rinse, it could be better as well. I usually can just get it on tight as I can with a hand tighten, and that'll do good enough. Um, again, it's still draining a little bit. When that's completely drained, you can put the cap back on that, uh, and then we'll start putting the new oil into the vehicle. Okay, so this has had a chance to pretty much completely drain. Um, so we'll put the cap back on here and we'll start putting oil into the car. So first start hand tightening it.
and then you can go out with the wrench until it's until it's pretty tight make sure not to over torque it I'm gonna stop there if you have a torque wrench that's even better I don't have one uh, I'm just going by feel and I'm confident that's not going anywhere so now we can put oil into the car okay so uh, before we put oil into the car we're gonna put uh, the oil pan cover back uh, we're gonna set the car uh, back on the ground then we'll put the oil in and this thing is ready to go nice all right so we're almost done we just got to put seven quarts of five weight 20 in this baby um, and we'll be good to go okay so we just put seven quarts of oil into this uh, and it's ready to go we can start the engine and uh, check the oil pressure and we'll see that it's good to go so the PSI is in a normal range and then the oil is slowly heating up so we're good to go so after that uh, dispose of your oil at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever you got nearby they'll take it for free uh, make sure to clean up any spilled oil uh, and your car is good to go.